week one of the Minimalist Decluttering Club is in the books. Stay tuned to find out how it went. Hello everyone, my name is Misty Nicole with LadyPreferstoSave.com. Thank you for coming back to my channel this morning. This is the second video in the Minimalist Decluttering Collab that I'm currently in. This collab was started by Roxanne of The Guy's Life. So at the end of the video, please be sure to check the description bar below so that you can see the playlist and check out what all of the awesome ladies are doing in terms of their weekly decluttering and minimalist challenge. To begin, I wanted to share a few thoughts that I have on minimalism and decluttering and how I go about each of my decluttering challenges that I have participated in, both as clubs and personally at home. And I always like to start with a really simple idea, and that's having an end game for everything that I'm going to be able to part with in my home. Because for me, it feels very irresponsible to throw things in the trash, not just because I'm a zero waste home, but because to me, Finding new homes for all of those belongings feels sort of like a lesson, and it helps me, especially in terms of minimizing sentimental or emotionally tied items, that having a new home and a new purpose for that item makes me feel really good about being able to part with it in a timely manner when the item can still be utilized by someone else. With this in mind, I have, over the past week, created a list for everyone seeing this video. Thus far, I have about 105 agencies, websites, centers that need everything that you have at home, from clothing to eyeglasses, kids wear, toys, paper, coupons, books, you name it, there's a place for it to go. And don't stop there. Even little things like cardboard or straw wrappers or things that you would consider minutia, not really think that anyone would need it, you would be surprised. I have places for those as well, including a lot of places that will be in your area or maybe on social media or Facebook that you can utilize. I will leave the link to that page from my blog, ladyperstosave.com, in the description bar below. Please check that out and make sure that you are finding homes and you are ethically and responsibly starting your decluttering process wherever you are in your walk of life at home. I also wanted to mention that this week I will not be posting my weekly meal plan and meal prep video, but I instead will be putting in the description bar below a link to this week's printable meal plan, so definitely check that as well on the blog. I also wanted to share that for each of the next several challenges, part of this collab, I will be posting a weekly Spotify playlist because I don't know about you, but I like to have some music when I'm decluttering at home. So definitely check out the link for that as well below and maybe have a little extra motivation while you're cleaning and decluttering your own home this week. With that said, I want to share that most of the things in the first two weeks of my decluttering will simply be just showing you what I am parting with. I do plan to have a few more shots inside my home, but that would probably be later on in this collab. And that's simply because we're in the process of painting our home. And so most things are kind of clustered together and cloistered in specific rooms and have drop cloths on them. So I didn't really think anyone wanted to see white walls and canvas drop cloths, but if you do want to see that, let me know below and I'd be happy to show it to you. So I just went ahead as I'm doing my personal decluttering, just showing you the items that I'm going to part with. Also keep in mind, I'm already a minimalist, so the things that I have are obviously not going to be as large or in quantity or in mass as someone who, say, is beginning their minimalist or decluttering journey at home, and that's fine. Everybody's journey is going to look different. And for me, I know that I continue to declutter and to minimize my space and home because I believe in simplified, ethical, zero waste living. But with that, I have no judgment against anyone whose journey is different than mine. Just do you and whatever works best for you. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into what I was able to part with this past week. So for day one, this might seem like kind of a silly project, but I originally was going to use this maple syrup bottle for making um, infused liquors to basically make more vanilla extract, but it's just something that I haven't in the past few months had the time to do. 
So I am going to go ahead and pass this on to someone because in our area they no longer accept glass in the recycling program, but there are several people as part of my local free cycle group that I can go ahead and pass this on to. So for day one, I am going to get rid of this glass bottle. For day two of the decluttering challenge, I'm going to go ahead and put in recycling this PS4 controller. My husband had purchased a secondary remote and there was the warranty information that we no longer need for that. And I also found in my cabinet my Cuisinart, this small plastic cup that came from our Belgian waffle maker. And since I no longer really need this, since we went all sans plastic as much as we can in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and recycle both of these because they're not needed. So this is day three and I went through the medicine cabinet and pulled out a few things that I'm no longer going to use because I've made some different changes ethically to the products in my medicine cabinet. So because I use a Diva cup, I'm no longer going to use OB and I'm not going to consume the Theraflu. There's nothing wrong with it. It's brand new. It's unused. But the company does participate. Their parent company does participate in animal testing practices so I'm going to go ahead and pass that on and I'm also going to pass on this unused Sally Hansen nail therapy and I was kind of excited when I received this last fall but I found out that they still do animal testing abroad just not domestically as the all of these companies do so I'm going to pass these on to my local women's shelter because again they're brand new. I received all of them through blogging projects, but they're just not needed anymore here. For day four, I am getting rid of a few Bibles that I no longer need, and all of these Bibles I received as part of blogging programs. I just never got around to using them, so I'm going to pass them on to someone else, including two brand new reference Bibles, and these actually have pages inside for journaling and for coloring and stenciling and things. So these are actually really nice and they have double enforced pages. And an NIV Bible that wasn't used and a illustrated Bible. Again, these literally, the spines haven't even been cracked on these. And so I'm going to go ahead and donate these in my community. For day five of the decluttering challenge, I had a few items and I wanted to start with these for Reader's Digest books and I picked them up actually for a dollar in my local thrift store a couple years ago and what I really liked about them were these really pretty pages. I thought they were really kind of neat looking and I also liked you know how the spine looked for them but what I got them for was twofold. One, I was going to remove all of the internal pages and use the binding to cover up routers and electronics that could then fit on my shelf like this containing the item so they were a little less bulky and then I used the pages to create paper wreaths and I never really got around to them so I'm going to take them back to the thrift shop and hopefully someone else will be able to use them. And I also have here some books that I did end up using and pulling the spine off of and a lot of really nice older paper. These are from 19 teens books where the covers, I believe on the second book it wasn't that great, but I did end up using the one on this particular one in my hand. And the pages I can pass on to some local crafters for their projects. And so those are the five things I am passing on today. For day six of the decluttering challenge, I'm going to go ahead and pass on some of these older candle and condiment jars. And I have some people in my free cycle group that I could pass these on to. Normally, I keep all of my candle jars after I burn them. I put them in the freezer, pop the wax out, and then give them a really thorough clean. And here's a tip. If you have any jars that you want to save, and you can't get the label off. If you use equal parts olive oil and baking soda, you can create your own Gooby Dawn and take any kind of label off. And then of course you would clean them as you normally would. I really like using Castile soap. And originally I had intended on keeping these and making larger jars, but I think I want to stick to making smaller candles as I have done in the past 
and I have a few projects lined up for this fall. And so since I can't recycle the glass, I'm going to go ahead and list those for free cycle and I'm sure they'll be gone by the weekend. So those are the six items for today. And for day seven, I found two small eight inch pie pans that got kind of scratched up over the years, so I don't really need these. A squeegee that I never end up using in the bathroom, a plastic tote, and about a year or so ago, I upgraded to a Grove Collaborative, some of their smaller bins, so I didn't really need that for cleaning. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this T10 as well as my beloved flamingo spatula as you can see it's starting to get a little wear and tear on that and so I'm going to go ahead and pass that on and also I don't know if anybody else is having some issues with this but every time I buy a Pioneer Woman mug despite hand washing it the paint starts coming off and including the enamel in the bottom and I actually had a small piece of enamel in the bottom of my cup the other morning when I was having some breakfast oats and so that was kind of gross and so I'm definitely going to just go ahead and throw that out because I don't really think that's safe to give anybody and so those are my seven items for day seven. With that said those were the items that I was able to part with this week for the collab. I hope that they will give you a few ideas to get you started on what you may be able to part with in your own particular season at home. Again, this is a collab that was started by Roxanne of The Guy's Life, so definitely check the description bar below for the playlist so that you can see Roxanne as well as all the other ladies in this collab and give them some love as well. Also be sure to check out that playlist, go to my blog, and definitely check out the donation sheet so that you can see where if you are starting your own decluttering journey where you can donate all those awesome things that you could be passing on this season. Also again, check out that printable playlist. And with that said, please be kind to yourself and to each other and have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching.